Good morning, class. Good morning, sir. Can you shouldn't please read the play, the prayer. Dear God, thank you for this wonderful day. May you continue to guide us and bless us. Amen. Okay. What's up, today? Nothing, sir. Okay. Before we move on to our new lesson for today, let's make a short recap. Our lesson yesterday. Uh, again, we look at what is equipment. Sir, for are less durable and permanent. Yes, very good. Less durable and less permanent. How about materials, Michelin? Sir, consumable. Yes, materials are consumables. Anything that is uh, be, uh, cannot be reused or uh, always be used and cannot be changed, that is consumable. Uh, example is the nail polish, uh, nail polish remover, video, and so forth. Okay? For our lesson for today, I will show you pictures and uh, observe the pictures because I will be asking you a question. Okay. What materials, what materials are to found on the pictures? Yes, believe it. Sir, nail polish. Yes, very good. Nail kosher. And, and every board. Every board. Yes, Michelin. What other materials or tools you found on the picture? Sir, orange. Yes, very good. Brush. Um, nail. Yes, or nail buffer or nail brush. Okay. So, based from those uh, materials and equipment you found on the pictures, I mean, materials and tools. What do you think our lesson for today? Okay. Sir, nail care tips. Right to hand. Yes, we'll be there. Sir, nail care tips. Okay. We have a point, but our lesson for today is the use of nail care tools. So, we'll be discussing one by one the proper way how to use those nail, to nail care tools. Okay? Okay, for the first slide, can we read Michelin? Nail care Yes, yeah, thank you for reading. It says before nail care, which is many competitive, is only afforded by the rich people of the society. But now both poor and rich can uh, uh, afford or use or doing manicure and pedicure because it is not uh, part of the status symbol, it is part of the proper hygiene or good grooming. Okay, that's why it's even, it's equal if the rich can afford to uh, get a service for a pedicure manicure, even the poor, because it's part of the general welfare or the proper hygiene of every individual to have a Beautiful, clean, clean nails. Okay. Okay. The following shows the use and proper way of holding some nail care tools or implements. For number one. Okay. Emily board. Get, uh, get your tools in front of you. Equipment. Emily board. It is held. In the same manner as the nail file. Even. Even the rough surface to the nail of the nail using the fine side to smooth and eat emery board that are discarded after use on one person. So this emery board is disposable. So if you use if one person use this after using it is disposed because you cannot split it to the second person and rope. It was easily Remove the rough edges that find the edges of the edges. Okay. This is the proper way of using it. Okay. Hold the emery board between thumb and index finger like this. Okay. Are you following? Of the dominant hand. For example, if you are right handed, that is your dominant hand. If you are left handed, that is your dominant hand. The left. Okay. Kung ano yung ginagamit sa pagsulat. That's it. Next is hold the client's fingers between the thumb and the index finger or auxiliary hand. For example, if you're using this, 
hold the give me your hand I will, I will show and you will do later like this you hold the finger and then you put move it like this okay that's the proper way of doing it okay number three position every words under the point of the nail here not here on the free head so that you can remove the edges so you can smooth in the edges okay it's like the every word across the free end of the center of the nail edge in one stroke so in using this one in one stroke if you see one stroke if you um, move it forward just forward like this forward not forward backward only one direction for example on the side of the nail free edge for example, the side, you only go in one direction like this. Like that. Not like this. This is the damage the nail. Okay? For number five, place the MD board on the opposite side of the nail and repeat the procedure. Okay? If you do it on the other side, the, the moving like this, you will also the other side the same. As we well here. Okay? That's the proper way of using the emery board. Okay? Hold you one direction. For number two. Okay. Nail file, can you read? Read it. Nail file, hold the file firmly in the right or left and as the face may be with the thumb underneath <clears throat> it for support and the other four fingers on the top. Upper surface. Place the file slightly under the free edge and file the nail from corner to center, shaping them. Okay. Same with the emery board, the nail file, but nail file is a metal. Okay. The same way how you use the emery board with the nail file. The only difference is that an emery board is made of a bamboo stick and a sand paper, while the nail file is made of a metal. But the surface is the same, there's a rough and smooth surface, okay? Let's not uh, discuss the book, it's still the same, the following. Let's move on to next. Can you read Michelin? Nail brush. Insert your ring finger in the painting the nail brush and, and the nail brush the nail with a downward movement from the base to the finger tips to clean the base and clean the base. Okay, if you say insert in your fingernail, what is your ring finger? I should say ring finger is one, the ring finger. So, using your dominant hand, again, if you see dominant, yung ginagamit yung sa pagsulat yung gamitin nyo. Because if you use your less dominant hand, you cannot perform that. So, use your dominant hand, ring finger, okay? And then, with the downward motion, you can use ring finger or the middle finger, both. If you are comfortable with only the ring finger and you can manage to use the nail brush, you, it, it, it can be. Just to, just, just to perform your cleaning in order to remove the, uh, what we call, uh, remove uh, the dirt. This is the proper way of using, as we mentioned. Okay, how about the orange stick? Yes, really, there can be. It is a help in the same manner as in writing with the Pencil to loosen cuticle work around them for applying oil or solvent. Slightly dip the cotton free orange wood. Keep orange wood stick and work around the base of the nail. Okay, it says just like you're writing using a pencil. So you're, you you position your thing your thumb and your point finger like this, like writing a pencil. If I open your own orange stick here, yeah, like this. Just like you're just your writing. So in writing, you need to make your write, writing uh, very nice. So you carefully uh, moving uh, the pencil, like the old stick also uh, move it carefully so that you will not damage the polish. Actually, this is commonly used to remove the excess polish on the nail plates so that it will remove the nail polish on the cuticles outside the nail plate. This one. Oh. All orange stick 2.5 cm from the tip. So, 
made up the middle part of the horse is made by a hog. Starting at one side of the nail, then we begin losing the critical and rotating action. Okay, so not only you can also use as pusher because what most some customers don't like to go on doing critical, so they prefer to use on stick in removing excellent on their nails. Okay, it says it also used to clean the criticals. Number three, using the tip of the implement, remove matter from under the free edge. Oh, the free edge. If there's a dirt inside your free edge, better use it uh, rather than using the very sharp pusher, use the horse stick to remove the dirt like this. Using a cotton, carefully mold the back skin wiping of the critical remover. Or either you can put a small uh, amount of cotton on the teeth like this okay and you can use this to wipe the excess critical remover around the nails the time of the orange is teeth next okay critical nail pusher is one <coughs> to the one it is held in the same manner as the writing with a pencil. Yeah. Same with writing a pencil also. So, using your point finger and your thumb finger. The dolly spade side is used to push back and loosen. If you see that speed, that's not one. This one. Okay. Use the cuticle pusher in a flat position to remove the, the cuticles adhering to go. So, <coughs> It is used to remove the dead cuticle adhering to the nail without scratching the nail plate. So, using this one, you, you just it, push, push it gently on your nail plate. Okay? Not too strong so that it will not damage your nails as well as your cuticles using the, 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 the spade side. This one, the, the straight one. Because the pointed one is is to remove the ground this one at the side. Next episode. Oh, can you read Michelin? Okay. Okay. Adjust the tip in the wrong position. So, uh, if you are in front of the customer, you adjust the tip nipper like this. It depends upon the position. Turn the client's palm. For example, you have a client. You need to hold the palm, and then using this one. You need to follow the, the position of the hand as well as the, the, the curves of the cuticles. Using this one. Hold the client's finger up right between the thumb and the finger. So, in using this cuticle nipper, you need to hold the thumb of the client, the every finger, so that you can use it properly. I will teach you later. Hold the tip first while cutting edges down between the thumb and index finger at the middle. Place the nail plate between the cutting edges, fold the paper to the cut straight across the nail plate and gauge the desired length of the nail not shorter than 3 mm. Press the paper and handle. This one, okay. For example, you are my clients. I will show you so that you can do the same, okay. For example, uh, you need to trim the side, okay, position. You see to it that you will damage the nails or the cuticle. Position like this. And by removing the excess cuticle, you press this one, this uh, portion, and using your ring finger, move it gently so that you can cut the excess cuticle. That's the proper way of using nail cuticle nipper. But always remember to be careful in using this one because once you cut, you cannot uh, control, it will be cause wound, severe wounds to the Else. And that's very painful. Then, when you are somewhere, I will not feel anymore if you wanted my beauty cells. So be careful in using the thermometer. 
Okay, initial and candidate. Mary Father, first three verses, Catholic with young word with green top, green text, and legal symbol. Verse three, Perham just by squeezing them together to remove excess hair. Okay. If you say neck cutter, we also call bald clippers in other country, but in our place we, we call it neck cutter. But maybe in Western country we, we call it bald clippers. So the main purpose or the main use of this one is to shorten the leg of the nails. Okay, that's only the use of this nail cutter. So very easy. You just press and then it's squeeze and you can cut the nails. But before cutting the nails, be sure to think the desired length before cutting. Because you know, cutting means shorten. If you, if you cut, it's not, you cannot it, it return it back the length. So be sure that the customer decide the length of the nail before cutting. For example, you have to use a Okay? Even yourself, decide first the, the length of your nail before using this one. Basta talo yung da, eksena da, uh, steps. Next is, okay, since we have already discussed how to use those tools and equipment properly, okay, uh, give your client a nail care se service tip, you should carefully follow this tip if you want to obtain quality service at all the time. So, in the future, if you are want to become a manicurist or pedicurist, you should follow the following direction how to proper those tools so that you can give quality service, okay? So if you, if you are not familiar with the properties of those tools, don't try to clean someone's nails. Okay? If you understand the rest, let's have an activity. Please do it. Okay, since we discussed how to use properly those tools, use uh, those tools and uh, equipment in nail care. Okay, for your activity, uh, choose one tool in front of you and perform with yours if me. Come in front and show me how, how to use it properly. Okay, do the best. Come with Michelin. Okay, perform. Okay, perform. Okay, perform now. I'm going to perform. Okay. So, first, you need to... Oh, it's okay. That's the rubric for your performance. Okay, this is done. One. That is the instruction. Pull nail file between thumb and index finger of the dominant hand. Okay, that's your dominant hand. Okay. Number two. Hold the client's finger tip between thumb and index finger. Number three. Okay. Position the nail file under the free edge of the nail. Okay. Number five. Place the nail file on the opposite side of the nail and repeat the procedure. Repeat until the desired shapes achieve. Okay, do it, and I will see if you are if you understand the steps. Check nail ends for rough spots. Bevel nail by lightly filing ends downward with the finger side of the nail. Okay, so check if there is no uh, rough surface already. It is fine. I will see. Yes, you're done yet. Okay. How about you, Michelle? Are you going to perform to you the best? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay? Prepare the type of instrument for this task before using your snail cutter. Make sure that it is clean. See? Signal your other is clean. Okay. You must cut your nails in a place where you can clearly see what you are going doing. So, in cutting your nails, you should be sure that there is a source of light. Okay, you can easily see the nails. So that you can uh, avoid wounding the client's fingers. Okay, number five, start cutting your nails starting from your little finger. Go. What's the little finger? That one. Click on the nail cutter that you can cut through the nail. After cutting your nails, you can find the nail you can okay. perform if you understand the instruction. Yes. And after that, it says use a emery board. Mm -hmm. so one, one position, one direction. Let me see. Okay, very good. You may see. Well done. Okay, uh, let's see how you understand the lesson. What is the importance of uh, knowledge using those uh, nail tools properly? What is the importance? Bakit mahalaga na marunong tayong gumamit sa mga tools na yan sa paglilis ng ating mga daliri sa paa at sa kamay? Yes, Bibi Bear. Yes, to prevent injury, para rin tayo masugatan. How oh. about you, Michelle, hindi na may idea? Bakit mahalaga na alam natin ngayon yung mga tools na yan? Ano yung bakit, bakit mahalaga ng alam natin ngayon yung team? Okay. Yes, kung alam natin gamitin yung mga tools na yan, of course, magiging maganda yung kalabasan ng pagiging sa ating mga kuko. At sabi nga ni Julie Beth, matuwasan natin yung mga injury, hindi tayo masusugatan. Okay? Again, for your next activity, bring out one fork sheet and answer the following question. I will give you five minutes. So that you can get perfect the uh, twist. Okay, read the direction, okay? Get the right uh, F if it's uh, true, right T, if right F if it is false. Are you done? Yes, sir. Exchange paper to ano, prevent cheating so that I can see if you understand the lesson so that I can make a remedial discussion after why. Okay, for number one, filing be done from the corners to the center of the nail. Is that true or false? True. Yes, true. Let's see. It's true. Yes, because beginning from the center, going to the side. Okay, so that you can balance the uh, edging, the edges. Number two, read Michelin and try to answer. <laughs> is that true or Let's see. Yes, it's true because it, because it's, you can see to it that the orange stick is also a pointed or sharp edge. So, just slightly using it, not rightly moving with it because you can also damage that criticals. Okay? Yes. For number three, Mich do the best. Read and answer. Your paper must be used without the unmasked sir. False. Let's see. Ay, oh my god. Yes, it's false because in using critical paper, it, it needs an extra care because they are very sharp. Okay? And they easily damage our uh, skin, criticals, and etc. For number four, the dull speed of the nail pusher is used to push back and loosen the cuticles. True or false? True. Yes, true. Again, what is the part of the, what's the dull speed of the pusher? This one, the flat one, not the pointed one. Is the, uh, the proper part of the pusher to loosen the cuticle and dirt of the nail clings. Okay, for number, let's see. True. For number five, false. Cuticle nipper is uh, held in the same manner as 
in writing and pencil. Yes. Why is always says that the write, writing with a pencil? Because those tools are handheld by the dominant hand. Always the dominant hand. That's why if your dominant writing is right, always use your right hand in holding the leaper, the, the pusher, the nail cutter, and everything. Okay? Yes. That's it. And uh, for your assignment, search and make an advanced reading on how to properly sanitize and sterilize those and equipment. Use end nail care. If you sanitize, how do you properly clean and care for it so that it is not it is free from diseases and other infection through transmission? Okay. Goodbye, class. Goodbye, sir.